for you too. Today I'm going to be doing something that you would do at a barbecue or if you're in a situation like we're in, you would do it at this. I'm not at my home and I know that the surroundings do not look familiar. That's because we're at Cheatham Military Base. We have spent the weekend in a cabin, been fantastic. Now we're going to have a barbecue and I just wanted to show you how to make a baked bean recipe for your barbecue. I'm here with my family members, maybe about 15 of us. It's been a beautiful time. I know that this cabin does not look like cabins used to look in the old days because everything in here is really modern conveniences. So let's get started with the ingredients that we're going to need today. We're going to need of course, baked beans, and I like Bush's baked beans, so we're going to be using Bush's baked beans because the shell is a lot more fit for your baked beans. It's more of a coarser shell. It's not too smooth, so your baked beans won't be mu uh, mushy. We're going to need some mustard, brown sugar, some onions, you don't have to saute them, even though I did saute these. This is about a cup of onions for this can of baked beans. And this is your family size baked beans, and it's roughly 117 ounces of baked beans. Some people put ground beef in it, you can't. Some people put bacon in it, whether the bacon is cooked or not cooked. They cut it up and they put it in it. But today we're not going to do that. I'm not going to use any of those items. And I don't have a bowl, so I'm going to do this from an aluminum pan. This aluminum pan is a 9 by 13 aluminum pan. Big enough to hold my beans. So in goes my beans. In goes my sauteed onions. That's one cup of sauteed onions. In goes some mustard. I'm going to use about three tablespoons of mustard. And in goes my brown sugar. I'm going to use for this, this is a whole box of brown sugar. I'm going to use one third of the box of brown sugar. So in goes that. I'm going to stir these up, put them in an oven at 350 degrees for roughly one hour. Take these out, and you got the best baked beans. Now, I'm going to sit this on a baking sheet because, as you can see, there's a lot of juices in here, and I don't want the juices to spill over in the oven. Didn't have a bowl, but you don't need a bowl. You can mix these right up in your pan, and you'll find that the best baked beans to use, to me, is the bushes. Now, if you want to take out just a little bit of the juices, you can. And that'll just save for your pan spilling over. But what I do, I'm going to show you a little trick that I did when I get this all mixed. Okay, these are mixed. And they're ready to go into the oven. What I do is just flip up my sides, okay, on your pan. And that's going to give you a lot more room. Okay, and that way you won't have to eliminate any of your beans. There it is. How simple was that? I'm going to put this in my 350 degree oven here, bake it off for roughly about one hour, and I'll see you when these beans get done. By the way, you'll see this next week, but I'm having a ball. Be right back. Hi. I know you see I'm in different clothes, and that's because it's another day. You did see the video tape of the baked beans. They were delicious. Uh, we didn't have them in our cabin. We had them in uh, my daughter's cabin. But they were very, very cool, good. But I never want to leave without telling you, thank you for watching Chris Cook for you, too. Bye.